Hello and welcome once again. This is Natty Cash and welcome to part six of our series of of college basketball imperialism. If you haven't seen any of the previous videos, I encourage you to go back and watch those um, as we're continuing into our process of determining who is the best college program in the country. And uh, without further ado, we're going to get to our spinner and start our first matchup of the video. So away we go. Where are we going to start this time? Looks like we're going to the West Coast to see UC Davis. Now they've already had an upset earlier. We're taking on Oregon, uh, but they can't really go further west. So I'm going to spin that one more time. And they're going to then go to the north, uh, northeast. And when we see them go to the northeast, that means they're going to take on Boise State. Oh, a huge matchup. I think this is one of the first times where we had two teams that got significant land up against each other. And what a game this was. Went down to the wire here. Boise State had most of the lead throughout the whole game. But UC Davis really made it a tough game by putting a, pulling ahead. But Boise State with the last minute basket does get the victory and expands even further. And just like that, Boise State, I think, might be up there with Wyoming by having the most land out of everyone on the board so far. And back to the wheel we go. Let's see where we are headed off next. And we are going to Charlotte. And Charlotte's going to have their first conquest going in a northwest direction. And from where Charlotte is, uh, that looks like Northwest is pointing towards the Davidson Wildcats. And it is the 49ers of Charlotte that end up taking on Davidson and is going to take their land. And Charlotte really took off in the first half and never let their lead uh, back. And again, now Davidson's going to be off the map. And just like that, Charlotte has a very unique set of borders here as they took over Davidson and the other land that Davidson had taken over previously. And so with Davidson off the board, we go back to the wheel, see where we go next. And we're headed to Jacksonville, Florida. Now Jacksonville can't go east, but they can go any other direction which we're going to say that's then south along the uh, east coast. Which that means they're going to go up against the North Florida Ospreys. And unfortunately for Jacksonville, this was a non-contest as North Florida takes this game pretty handily. And just like that, North Florida gets to take a huge piece of land here and make their statement for potentially a Florida team to beat. But back to the wheel we go. Let's see where we head next. And it looks like we are going to visit Hofstra Pride. And let's see where they want to conquer first. They're going to try going to the east. Which means to the east they're going to take on Stony Brook Seawolves. And in a very close one, we see Hofstra coming up with the one point victory here. Right at the very end, Stony Brook was leading for a good part of the second half, but Hofstra eventually will take the victory. And just like that, Hofstra now have a nice big chunk of Long Island. And back to the wheel we go to see what our next matchup is. I'll go into Duquesne. And let's see what where the arrow takes us. Looks like we're trying to go southwest. And to be honest, if this was further west, I would maybe say Ohio. But I think southwest means that they take on the behemoth that is Pittsburgh. And for Pittsburgh, that ended up being a no contest as they uh, took the lead early and never squandered it. So once again, Pittsburgh picks up a bunch of land. And once again, Pittsburgh expands, taking a big uh, cleanup around Pennsylvania, pushing their way into Ohio some more. But once again, back to the wheel. 
who's going to get a chance to expand next? It looks like we're going to Central Connecticut. Now, they have expanded once before, but what direction are they going to try to go next? They're trying to go to the north, maybe a little bit to the northwest. And it looks like the Blue Devils are going to try to take on the Siena Saints. And it is Siena that takes the three-point victory back and forth game throughout the whole game. and uh, But Siena is able to take the victory and gets their first chance to expand. And just like that, Siena gets their first piece of territory as they expand into Connecticut. But back to the wheel we go. Where are we headed next? Looks like we're going to find the Denver Pioneers. Now, they already took out Air Force earlier, but what direction are they going to try to expand? Trying to go to the southeast. Now, based on where their logo is, Southeast still has them pit up against the Wichita State Shockers. Regardless of who play, who wins, they're going to pick up a huge amount of land here. And it is Wichita State that comes away with the victory. Denver did have a good, decent start, but Wichita State was just too much for them. And just like that, Wichita State doubles in size, basically taking a huge part of Colorado and expanding greatly westward. So again, we're back to the wheel. Where are we headed off to next? And we're going to find the Drexel Dragons. And we will see in what direction Drexel wants to try to expand, going to the northwest. And it looks like Drexel is going to end up expanding to the northwest, which would be taking on Villanova, a tough matchup. And as expected, Villanova Wildcats take on Drexel and w end up winning pretty handily, expanding their stake into the Philadelphia metro area. And even though it's not much for Villanova, it's enough for them to... Uh, get a little piece on the board here and give them an opportunity to expand later down the line. So back to the wheel to see who gets a chance to attack next. And we're going to uh, Tennessee Tech. Now they've had a chance to expand already, so where are they going to try to go next? Looks like going to the northeast, which means that they're going to go and take on, I believe this is Eastern Kentucky. I'll have to double check that. And it is Eastern Kentucky in a very close one. Now the incredible part about this for Eastern Kentucky is they're down, well, I don't know, by 15 points at the biggest part and were able to climb their way back and end up getting a one point win on a basket right at the end of the game. Incredible stuff. And just like that, Eastern Kentucky expands pretty significantly as they get a huge chunk of Kentucky and a little bit into Tennessee as well. But back to the wheel once more. Where are we headed next? And we are going back in the similar spot as we go to Memphis. As Memphis gives their first attempt to try to expand and they're going to go straight west which from the uh, logo here, straight west is going to go against Arkansas State. And uh, even though it was closer than what may be what people would think, Memphis did end up getting the win. They were leading for most of the second half and uh, were able to secure the win and their new piece of land. And just like that, Memphis expands further west, taking a big chunk out of Arkansas and even expanding a little bit into Missouri as well. And back to the wheel we go. Where do we go? No one knows. Unless you're Houston Baptist. Now Houston can go anywhere except for the south. So up to the north, uh, sorry, northeast is probably going to be an interesting battle. And from uh, Houston Baptist here, northeast looks like it's going to point us towards Texas Southern University. And it looks like Houston Baptist, or also as known as Houston Christian, uh, took a pretty good lead after the first half and maintained that lead in order to take their first piece of territory. 
and even though it isn't a big piece of land, it's land nonetheless, and make sure that Houston Baptist is still on the, uh, on the map. But back once again, see where we're headed next, who's going to get a chance to expand. Looks like we're going to go to North Carolina to visit the Tar Heels. And which direction are the Tar Heels going to try to expand? They're going to look directly south. And from uh, the Tar Heel territory, directly south means they're taking on the Campbell Fighting Camels. And the Camels made a pretty good go at it, keeping uh, pretty close to the Tar Heels, but eventually the Tar Heels were able to take just enough and uh, get the win and their first piece of land. And now North Carolina has a pretty visible piece of land that they've expanded into and are starting to contend for the shape of what North Carolina is going to look like in the future. But back again, once again, to the spinning wheel where we are going to see Sacred Heart get a chance as they will try to expand and move north. And Sacred Heart, which is down here going north, will go against Sienna, who has already taken some land in this video. And it is the pioneers of Sacred Heart that end up taking on Sienna and beating them. It was kind of a back and forth, and it looks like Sacred Heart scores in bursts, let Sienna back into it, but uh, eventually came up with the 12 point win. And just like that, Sacred Heart gets a big piece of land as they expand into three new states and take a significant piece of Connecticut too. And back to the wheel. Anytime we get a chance to see a team, there's a chance that they can expand. And we're going to Milwaukee. And as we spin the uh, spinner here, looks like they're going to try to expand to the west. Which in this case for Milwaukee means they're going to have to take on the Wisconsin Badgers. And it is the Badgers that successfully defend their home and take their first piece of land. Again, not really a contest as Wisconsin held the lead basically the whole game. And it's not a big piece of land, but Wisconsin takes their little piece here and, and gets their first piece of conquered land. And here we continue and to see where we're headed next. Who's got another chance? It looks like we're going to see Michigan in action once again. We saw Michigan play against Michigan State at one point, and now they're going to head to the north, uh, kind of northeast, or sorry, northwest, which means that Michigan's going to take on Central Michigan with a chance of collecting a big piece of land overall. And the Wolverines seem to take on Central Michigan pretty handily and get a pretty decent win, which means they're going to collect a big piece of land. And just like that, the Michigan Wolverines have made a huge statement and gained a big piece of land here, and they're going to end up being a very visible part of this map moving forward. And we're back to the wheel once more. Let's see who's going to go up next. And we're headed to Carolina to see the coast of Carolina Chanticleers. I hope I'm saying that right. As they're going to then get their first chance to expand. And they're going to expand by moving further west. And further west means they're going to have to come up against the South Carolina Gamecocks. And unfortunately, um, the Gamecocks were just too much for them. Never really much of a contest. Um even at the start of the game so um, but South Carolina gets their first chance to expand and like that South Carolina gets some coastline and expands their territory and once again we're back at the wheel to see who we see next and it looks like we're staying in the south and going to Auburn and we're going to see what direction Auburn's going to try to expand for their first time, trying to go to the northwest. And uh, going from the middle of the logo for Auburn, northwest ends up hitting them against the Jacksonville State Gamecocks. And it is Auburn that does take the win. 
um, as uh, Auburn was basically leading for most of the game, and they get to pick up their first piece of land. And Auburn gets their first piece of land, um, eliminating Jacksonville State and narrowing down the teams in Alabama just to six. But we are back to the wheel once more. We got to keep going, right? Still almost 250 teams left. We're going to, I think that's Southern Illinois University, Edwardsville Cougars. And the Cougars are going to try to go and expand in the westerly direction, which means the Cougars are going to have to go up and uh, have a tough test against the Missouri Tigers. And uh, this one was also a no contest as Missouri clearly uh, is the better team here and will pick up some more land. And it looks like Missouri has now made a significant presence into the state of Illinois, um, vying for some of the area that's around here. But once again, we're back at the wheel, trying to narrow down these teams here one at a time. And we're going to go visit Marquette. And let's see what direction Marquette's going to go in. Looks like they're going to the uh, northwest which means that Marquette is going to try to conquer the same land that Michigan just took over recently. And it is once again Michigan that is able to defend now and uh, pretty handily over Marquette, to be honest. Um, despite uh, Marquette being a pretty good program, uh, Michigan here have, uh, have again expanded their territory. And now Marquette is off the board here as well really highlighting that the, the Wolf, Michigan Wolverines may be a pretty tough competition in this area of the country. But back to the wheel we go again. Maybe a few more matchups we'll see before the end of the video. But we're then going to Miami, Ohio. And let's see what direction Miami wants to expand in. They're going to go basically straight north. And from Miami, we're going to say straight north means we're going to take on the Ball State Cardinals. And it is Ball State that does get the win. They actually led basically well, the whole game. There was a time where Ball State tried to get back, but, or sorry, that Miami tried to get back into the game, but Ball State eventually wins by a comfortable margin. And like that, Ball State gets their first piece of land. And I know that this black kind of clashes with Cincinnati, but it is a still a different color. So I'll be able to tell in case there's any disputes here. But Ball State gets to pick, gets their first piece of land. And so once again, we're back at the wheel. Let's see where we're headed next. Looks like we're headed out to San Diego as we see the Aztecs. And what direction are they going to travel in? Let's see. Looks like they're going to go over to the north, uh, northeast here. And if there's any more eastern, we'd have to take on, I think uh, this is UNLV. But I think the direction here is pointing us against, and I believe this is California Baptist University. And this ended up being a no contest, really, as San Diego State took the lead and never gave it up, winning pretty handily in the end. And just like that, San Diego State gets some more land on the board and uh, potentially is a uh, contender for taking some of this land in Southern California but back to the wheel we go see where we can go from here and we're gonna then hit South Florida as we go visit South Florida Bowls now because South Florida is in Tampa we're not gonna take anything that's a direct west but going directly east should give us a matchup here. And South Florida going directly west means they're going to take on the UCF Knights. And it is UCF that uh, takes the victory here. And they, for the most part, were winning the game and then in the second half continued to just pile on the lead there at the end to take their first piece of land. And just like that, UCF ends up taking a big chunk out of the middle of, of Florida and gives himself a pretty good position so far. And we'll have one final matchup here to see uh, before we finish the video. And we're going to see Incarnate Word get a chance to expand. 
as they try to go in which direction to start. They're going to go north, a little, maybe a little bit northeast, which will put them up against the Texas State Bobcats. And it is Texas State that gets the win. Not really a big contest here, but Texas State gets a chance to expand on the board. And like that, Texas State gets their piece of the pie of Texas with a nice little expansion. And that will be a wrap of this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. A quick highlight of some teams getting really big, like Boise State or Wichita or Michigan. Some teams just expanding a little bit, like North Carolina, so that we can see them, or Texas State. But uh, more and more, we're narrowing things down as we go. Um, so uh, I hope you liked the video. Please like and subscribe, and I uh, hope to see you later. Bye for now.